A sternoclavicular dislocation is fortunately an uncommon injury. In this video, I'll explain what it is, how the injury occurs, and when you need surgery for it. I'm Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I hope you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. The sternoclavicular joint is the joint I can't really show you real well here, but where your collarbone, your clavicle comes to meet your sternum. You can feel it on either side of your sternum or your breastbone with the prominence where your collarbone attaches to it. And it's a very stable joint surrounded by a very tough capsule and ligament, but it is possible to dislocate the collarbone from the sternum. Typically it goes anterior, meaning toward the front, and it's just more prominent. Uh, rarely it can go backwards behind the sternum. That actually is very dangerous because then that collarbone, the end of it, can be pushing up against the aorta and the esophagus and, and just be a very dangerous problem. Typically it occurs in a sport like football with some sort of blow, again, with it popping anteriorly, where uh, it you know, like pulls your arm back and pops the collarbone forward, or a direct blow right to that area, pushing the collarbone back. The ones popped out to the front, I know this is not a lot of times what patients want to hear, but you typically leave it alone. Very frequently, if you try to pop it back in place, it doesn't stay in place with these anterior dislocations. And other than a prominence there, after a few weeks or a month, most people don't really notice it. Again, you can sort of see a little bit more prominence on that side than that, but it doesn't limit any kind of function, rarely causes pain, usually has no issue in terms of strength or, or restricted activities. Occasionally, if it sort of pops back in and out of place, that can be a tricky problem to deal with. So occasionally I, I've seen surgeries and I actually did one back when I used to do these surgeries for one that popped in and out of place. The ones though that typically need to either be popped back in place either just with a closed reduction, meaning you know manually pop back in place or surgically popped in place where you make an incision and pull it back into place are when it's pushed, the clavicle is pushed posteriorly where there's potential injury to the aorta, the large blood vessel off the heart uh, or the other important structures behind the sternum. And so typically that involves going to the emergency room. Uh, they put you to sleep, it's a, it's a real surgery. And then sometimes, they can lever the arm in such a way, sometimes having to put a towel clip or something sterilely on the collarbone and pull it forward, but it can be done. And I've had to do this on a football player before in a surgery case, uh, just you know, with him asleep, popping it back into place and it stayed fine. But occasionally that doesn't work and you have to open uh, that up and then do a procedure to kind of get it back in place and close it. And those surgeries are very dangerous. Typically, again, it's unlikely, but again, that big, large blood vessel right off the heart is right behind it. So it's very, it's typically recommended that you have a cardiothoracic surgeon available sort of on standby in case that gets in any trouble. So these are almost always treated at academic medical centers and not at small community hospitals. But again, fortunately, the vast majority of them is popped anteriorly and anterior sternoclavicular dislocation. And other than a bony prominence, almost all the time, it doesn't leave any long-term issues. I'd love to hear your experience with your shoulder injury. So leave those in the comments below. Remember, I can't give you specific medical advice. So I will try to answer your questions in future videos. Make sure to subscribe to my video channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video or when I start a new live stream, such as my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. And remember, if you have shoulder problems, knee, hip, or some other joint pain, and you wanna get significantly better in the next 30 days without cortisone shots or surgery, learn more about working with me in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.